when you look into the eye of a whale, you know, it's this great experience. They know something we don't know, and we want to know. How can you not be fascinated by a whale? I love being a scientist because I'm curious. I want to understand these animals more and I want to share that so that people will stop killing them. I've been in the Cook Islands for a couple years when I heard about a female whaler that was buried here. Her name was Marianne Sherman. I didn't even know there were female whalers. After doing research on her, I was shocked to learn that she is my very own ancestor. She was there killing whales, and I'm there protecting whales. I feel a very strong kinship to her. A lot of the things I've discovered about whales have been about behavior. They have families in the way that we do. They protect each other. If you have a camera and you're there in the moment, you experience things. I've got a sperm whale with a broken jaw hanging to the side. I even have a sperm whale farting unprecedented underwater behavior of beaked whales. The footage is great for research, but it's especially great for raising awareness. Oh my gosh, guess where this came from? Oh, from the whale? From the stomach of the whale. What I built the Whale Education Center to help the people of the Cook Islands take ownership of their whales. We used to find stranded whales. We actually used to kill these whales and cut them up for food. But nowadays, thanks to Nan's uh, work, we will get them off the reef and we'll get these whales back to safety. Now I'm working with the Cook Islands Marine Park. It's one of the largest marine parks in the world. It's bigger than Alaska. It's more than one third the size of India. We're working with Conservation International on how to best zone the park so everyone wins and my research is helping design the park. By satellite tagging, we can set up zones where the fishermen can fish, but the whales can still migrate safely. Tagging, it's the scariest thing that you could imagine doing. I've had whales lift the boat up. I've had them ram my boat. I've been in the water where I've been filming and I've slid down the backs of whales. <laughs> but it's really important to get these data. It can be a matter of life and death. About a year and a half ago, I spent every day with a mother and calf and they were the most beautiful, allowing animals that I have ever worked with and I got a phone call that the calf had got caught in a long line and wrapped up. I felt so horribly torn up inside. Long lining is a fishing practice where sometimes thousands of hooks hang from lines that are miles long. Now we know how they migrate and what direction they go. We know don't set your long line here. got this massive amount of water. The Pacific Ocean is larger than the surface of the moon. So we need to take giant strides. We need management, better enforcement, zoning, community outreach, and to raise funds to make the park work. You're all moving forward very, very effectively. Conservation International is helping us with all of this. I'm thrilled that my science and research will benefit this marine park.
This is a massive effort and it will make a huge difference.